Mamta Banerjee has now lashed out at uh, the union government and has blamed them for indiscriminate deactivation of Aadhaar cards of people, specifically of the scheduled caste, the scheduled tribe and the OBC community. The UIDIA, which is the authority that issues the Aadhaar card, has now responded to the allegations wherein they have said that no Aadhaar card numbers have been cancelled, even though there are efforts being carried out to keep the Aadhaar database updated. With that aside, Mamta Banerjee has come up with a solution of issuing separate ID cards just for the people of West Bengal. Clearly, big... Uh, developments there taking place in West Bengal, which has been a political battlefield for the past few days. As far as the Sandesh Kali violence is concerned, the protests are concerned, and today we see another turn being taken in West Bengal, where the Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has now accused the centre of tampering with the Aadhaar cards of several people in her state, and she has now asked those people to ensure that they come to the TMC offices where they will be extended all help possible in order to deal with this latest allegation. With that, we open up this conversation. I have with me Savio of the BJP. Uh, I also have with me Manav Jaiswal of the TMC, Varun Singh political analyst and Akhil Khan political analyst also with us on the broadcast. Let me begin this conversation with Manav Jaiswal. Manav, what exactly is now happening in West Bengal? Uh, on what basis has this allegation of the Aadhaar cards being deactivated been made? Firstly, good afternoon to the nation. You can see that there are so many, uh, you know, people, so many people, the Aadhaar card holders, the actual Labharti for the country, they have been deprived of the benefits. This is new strategy from the central government to somehow, you know, deprive them further because for Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah, there's only one Labharti in the nation. And that is Mr. Adani. Technically, there is everything of the country is going to Mr. Adani. From the hundreds and hundreds in the line, he has become the second la second most, uh, you know, has become the largest uh, institution in the world, richest man in the world. By, the, by default, when you talk to the ED UDAI, what is the reason why you've been tampering with the Aadhaar card data and all? So you know today data is a myth. The whole country is, uh, you know, questioning what kind of data they are keeping and how, how safe it is, how secure it is. So UDI had to answer them also. But in this case, when we talk about Mamata Banerjee with the name uh, states itself, the kind of empathy, the kind of uh, feeling that she has for the community at large, be it any community, be it any language, be it any people of the state, SC, ST, OBC, anybody, she knows where these people are going, coming from. How difficult it is for them to run day-to-day -day course of life. Mamta Manaji does not only stand as a chief minister, but she stands as a woman who, who emphasizes the empathy quotient for every family member. It is very easy to deprive people from the actual benefits of the country. They are also citizens of the country. They work hard, be it Manrega, be it like uh, working as a farmers, be it like, uh, you know, going on household jobs, anything they do, even not only that. But Manav, how be... exactly did this come about, this revelation to the West Bengal government that certain people who earlier had Aadhaar cards uh, are no longer being able to avail schemes and other subsidies? See, there have been a Tafsi Federation that we have. There are a lot of people who have come in, you know, they have complained that they are not able to get the benefits. And when we cross-check with them, there is some problem with the Aadhaar card and Aadhaar card has been dealing and it is defunct. So the, the, there have been lateral complaints all across state. People where actually the benefit goes. But somehow, you know, the EDI has got no answer to it. They cannot just come up and say, you know, this is not happening. Do it. Just make it clear. Let the, let the country at large, let the people of the country exactly know what is going on, you know. When they, have, when they want to have the benefits, the benefits are being rejected. Why has that been happening? Why isn't the Hadhar card active? What has happened with your data? Are you selling the data across? Because BJP can do anything. And under the rule of BJP, nothing is, pri nothing is private. Today, data has become a myth. Privacy has become a myth. So what is BJP trying to do? You to, when, you, when we talk about on a very simple scale, when people come in far as faster from the villages, People might not be able to read and write in the proper context that what me and you can do. What exactly the government should do? We are standing with them. Yesterday, day before, we actually, we actually had camps in different places of the state 
one few places of bjp people bjp goons they rampaged those camp so that no you cannot actually enroll people for the further uh, you know integration of the aadhar card this is what the bjp is doing today shubhendu adhikari is calling our sikh officers khalistani the uh, agni mitra ball are calling a uh, calling people with different names what is happening what is bjp up to the leaders on bjp when the when the when the sikh people are fighting for justice for the farmers the maximum people who are there on the border of delhi basically it's a border within the country this is a new statement this is a new stage where the bjp has taken the country into okay Our, but manav how many such people have come them. forward how many such cases in west bengal have come forward where the aadhar card has been deactivated see there is a there is a tafsili federation where we give tafsili bandhu there is a scheme that we are running in the state and on that not only on that there have been some other schemes also where we have found the people have come up where their their benefits have been rejected so in that case what really happened we could understand that and what is the benefit that is being people. what is the benefit th that is being rejected the, the benefit that they go the cash transfer which they get it directly and they, you know, so they say really they no longer being example, able to get the cash transfer they're not getting exactly and when direct cash you know what has happened when we were uh, made up with this camp and we were trying to enroll their aadhar card back again there's something problem with the aadhar card it's not coming up the numbers are not taking because you know it's an auto upi process which automatically takes you to the outsource right okay the the open code which is given to the aadhar because aadhar itself is not only the unique number it gives you a lot of benefits and it is it is a very uh, you know a kind of a when you do about the software thing when you try to do a transfer aadhar is the only unique link which uh, connects you from the labharthi and the institution could be a central government could be the state government okay. as you what you know so what has really been happening is when you are trying to enter that and it's been rejected so what is the reason behind that how the, how the aadhar card is been defunct so we took an opportunity basically our leader mamata banerji took an opportunity fine if the central government is doing this the state government will open the other set of numbers unique numbers and we will give we will make sure the benefit goes to the you know beneficiary okay, we don't okay. do propaganda. i'll come to, okay i'll come we to just a moment on the grassroots level Okay so mam okay so mamta banerjee solution to this is to generate some sort of a unique identity identification system for residents of west bengal specifically all right understood savio i'd like to bring you into the conversation um, how exactly does the bjp then respond to these charges and has some sort of an inquiry been started into these allegations itself because if something is essentially wrong with the number of aadhar cards regardless of what state it is it is quite a serious issue Well, Devika, there are about 138.9 crore Aadhaar card holders in India. That's point number one. Point number two is that there is no other state right now that has raised a concern. And if Bengal has raised a concern, then I think it's imperative on the government to identify what exactly is the complication that is arising out of the Aadhaar card, as far as the citizens are concerned. but then comes the a third part of this entire discussion of us is mamta banerji talking about creating separate ids for the people of west bengal now here's the complication in something like that and because i prefer not to take a political route in my discussion and use logic most of the government schemes that are central based schemes are based and uh, the direct benefit transfers that happen which are in cross on a monthly basis happens via the other identification process so instead of going one step further and trying to outsmart the center it is my advice to the tmc that if there is a technical complication that has not been addressed i don't think anybody in his right mind would deliberately target any particular state because every state is connected to a system that system that is there is technology driven and technology is for all today it is for the bjp tomorrow if bjp is not in power to be there for somebody else in fact the aadhar cards main uh, seed of uh, development was sown much before the bjp right so the aadhar card is a technical uh, uh, facility meant for every citizen irrespective of whether they are tmc bjp or congress so if there is a technical complication instead of playing politics around it my advice to them is let's sit down and resolve what is the technical complications how many people are affected are, are is it in hundreds is it in thousands is it in lakhs 
If it is in these numbers, what is the extent of that complication? Is there a technical concern? Because what happens also, and this is something I, I'm not saying it happens in West Bengal, but there are cases that have happened in other parts of the country where there are people who claim that they can uh, create uh, fake cards. And I don't know how they do that because Aadhaar is based on, on your your thumbprints and your and various other uh, your uh, you know various other specifications, but for the other to be uh, what you call technologically sound, there is many many firewalls, many guidelines, many tech applications that makes it such a strong and unique uh, you know program that allows for the dissemination of government funds and services to the concerned citizens. So while I while I understand the problem that TMC is raising, the politics of around it is not going to solve the problem, and okay. certainly not creating somebody's own a state's own unique ID, because you are not going to get the center's benefits. So the law, the way forward is on us solving if there is a genuinely a technical complication, and I would like to believe that the TMC has genuinely got a reason. Let's solve that. Okay, Manav Jaiswal wants to respond. Yes, have you know, probably I would not love to educate you, but I will let you know. We don't do politics. Mamta Banerjee is already in power. She is the chief minister of the state. And we do understand about the logic about the central benefits. What you're not the answering state my technical benefits. questions, my friend. We don't, we don't need education on that. What we, are, what we are trying to do is, we have tried to correspond with the uh, appropriate authorities, the DIA team. They are looking into it. That is fine. But we know when you don't have the of proper logic, proper... You know, answers what and the solution. Happening? We have to work to get the benefits. Uh, you know, reach to the end source. Who are the, these people? They are not you. They are not sitting in the AC chamber. They are not running in the air-conditioned vehicles. They are not people who have been graduated from Stanford or Oxford. They are hard. No, workers. you missed the other they're universities. Liberals. They are ladies. They are Mahila. They are. You they're missed mothers. the other universities. So we Manav. want to give them benefit. We don't want to deprive anyone. <laughs> I mean, Manav, what, what, the, what this, do To be very honest. What does the authority then really say? There is a designated authority that. that looks into uh, the whole Aadhaar card system and they claim that no Aadhaar card has been deactivated, no number has been deactivated. So, they, they, see, uh, you know, uh, Rebecca, in recent time, the UDI had also said there has been no data leak and we could see the data of Aadhaar card had been leaked in the multiple stages. You could understand there have been 6 lakh people when in the Ayushman Bharat scheme where the Aadhaar card was fake. So this is about, this is part of the central government schemes. So you want, you want to really believe that they are, they are just giving a statement will change everything? No. No, I want to understand from you, Manav. We have to work on the level. We are people. I'd like to understand from you, Manav. What does, what does deactivation of Aadhaar cards in terms of a benefit to the center, what is that? Why, why would they choose this particular route? See, the idea is, when you talk about politics, BJP only knows politics. They don't know anything else. You have to understand, you have to acknowledge this. Now, what has happened, 2024 has come up, it's knocking on the door, there's an election that's going to be coming in. They have created this, you know, a chronological uh, phobia about NRC, CAA, and suddenly hitting on these Aadhaar card, okay, your benefits are being locked. You know, to, make, to, to scare these people, scare these, these arm army, the poor people. They're being scared of this kind of, you know, robust or probably change in attitude of the central government towards the Labarti. Because I say time and again, for BJP, the only Labarti is Adali. Okay. They don't really care about the uh, lady who goes to Manrega benefit. Who okay, goes, so goes before the elections, the BJP is trying to create... Days. Okay, as per Manav Jaiswal, before only. the elections, BJP is trying to create a fear psychosis, especially amongst the people of West Bengal, by cancelling their Aadhaar cards. Uh, and not allowing them uh, benefits, uh, central scheme benefits. Savi, how do you respond to that? Then I want to bring in Barun Singh as well, who's been listening patiently well, to both uh, sides. But I'd like my friend Manav to go and read about the various benefits that women from economically weaker sections have got under the BJP. But this is not politics, Manav. What I'm trying to make you understand is that there is generally a concern which is technologically driven then I think it needs to be addressed in a technological manner rather than politics. I'm a firm believer that while no matter how robust a technology system could be, there is always an element for error in technology. After all, it's been, it's been computed by humans. Having said that, 
we can also we cannot also discount the fact that there is probability and there should be concern for the government and citizens in india whether it is nrc or whether it is the caa these are right laws to bring in into play when people from other countries have been slowly assimilating in in our country under various different guises and under various different political patronages and that's a reality now you might not want to accept that reality but it is so how do you deal with it the very benefits you are talking about to people who are lal parties uh, you know la parties and well as the economically weaker sections victim when there are people who do not belong to this country and take benefits based on cards that they have so this particular idea of uh, mamta banerjee to create an own id for west bengal is in no way a justified way or a logical or an even a forward thinking way forward even from a west bengal point of view you have to understand that at the end of the day we work in a system where the center and the state work together to ensure the complications that exist are resolved i see it as a technical complication not a political complication but to turn it into politics saying that bjp is about adani my friend you have to understand what has happened over the last 10 years and i would advise you to okay. read our book which is coming out in a couple of weeks okay all right i'm going to come to you in just a moment varun singh uh, akhil khan also joining us on the broadcast varun singh i'd like to understand from you now you've heard both the sides you've heard the tmc you've heard the bjp i'm sure you're tracking what's been happening in west bengal does the timing of these allegations somewhere feel a little bizarre absolutely you know firstly let me tell you three things firstly the deactivation of aadhaar card are the allegations made by mamta banerjee which has been refuted by the uibi there has been no proof any proof that the tmc has managed to provide to any authority that there has been deactivation and there has been refutation also and look at the timing of it these allegations have come when sandesh khali the main incident where women are crying on the road where this incident where this topic is garnering so much of attention from the country where the voices of women are going to be heard and this is the point i see it as a political move where the west bengal government wants to move it in a way secondly most important thing there are you know just two months ago malda west bengal police busted a fake aadhaar card distribution center almost a year ago around 2 crore ration cards were cancelled by west bengal government forget anyone else so when there are such huge numbers to be noticed over here about aadhaar card about ration card and now and can can mr mano deny that his own police his own police has busted fake aadhaar card just a month ago in december 2023 and there have been two crore ration fake ration cards cancelled by his own government and at that point can he deny that there are no fake aadhaar cards being circulated there are so many police cases from west bengal which has come up and and as i said that those allegations have been refuted there has been no deactivation of any aadhaar card and to be to be very precise i see it as a diversion from sandesh khali to rake this up and if this is if this is not that then there is nothing else that can define because none, none of the allegations have been proven yet okay akhil khan bring you into the conversation as well i just like to understand from your perspective what do you feel of these allegations that have been made by the west bengal government and also that all of this is suddenly coming out while there is protests and violence in sandesh khali uh, you see um, madam there are so many instances in the past several years that aadhar card is being uh, uh, manipulated is being given to those who are not eligible and those who are eligible their name has been manipulated i have seen many in my areas as well they have put their full name and they uh, put abbreviations of the name so they they are in trouble so this kind of things are going on since long this is not the first time and this is the extremity this is uh, I, i don't think what uh, the government of india is doing they are making it a banana democracy 
I don't understand the kind of uh, act they are uh, making against West Bengal government particularly and because this kind of uh, troubles never uh, seen that uh, uh, in the name of accuracy they are uh, means, uh, rejecting the card, they are uh, discontinuing the Aadhaar card. So this what is you are now alleging is that only Aadhaar cards of Muslims are being deactivated in West Bengal. Okay, okay. Muslims as well as other also here, here in uh, other uh, other places of India, uh, they, they may be particularly very much against in uh, West Bengal because nobody is going to give them uh, votes. But this is not the democracy. This is not the democratic Mr. values Khan, I of the country. Understand? You're saying that you've seen this happening in your area. Some of these illegalities. Yes. What did you do about it? They, they are interval, they have to again uh, go to the offices and then they have to get it corrected. They have to give some affidavits. They means unnecessary wastage of time. How is someone? No, how has nobody raised this matter to the courts? <laughs> you see, if you start raising such questions, such, such type of uh, problems, then hundreds of thousands court cases will be there in this uh, uh, Bharatiya Janta Party. I would say Bharatiya Jhansa Party. In the ek dikta me Hindi me, I will tell you that the Bharatiya Jhansa Party is just one thing to do. दर्द का हद से गुजर जाना होता है दवा हो जाना है ये इनका अप्रोच है ये इस तरह से एक एक्सट्रीम प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं टू शो देम दैट वी आर द डिक्टेटर्स रियल डिक्टेटर्स हिटलर तो उनके सामने कुछ भी नहीं है हिटलर तो बेचारा कम से कम लोगों की वैल्यू करता था लोगों का इंटरेस्ट अपने okay. लोगों का इंटरेस्ट रखता था okay. लेकिन Mr. ये Khan... तो पूरे देश के लोगों को डिवाइड करके रखा हुआ और पता नहीं किस किस कैटेगरी में डिवाइड किया है हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई देन अगेन लेबर्स देन अगेन uh, on the okay. basis of caste and the, on the basis of uh, their income. There are so many okay, divisions in Mamata our country. Okay, says that I'll come up with our own system for my state, a uni unique identification only for West Bengal. Is that not a divisive policy? Certainly, certainly divisive politics all over India. They are making because Mamta Banerjee is very vocal. She is, no, Mamta uh, she is, Banerjee has said it, sir. Yeah? Mamta Banerjee is saying that I will come up with my own system in for my state. W then what is the solution? You tell me if such kind of prime minister in our country is there who is not bothered about the country's uh, welfare, uh, development and the well-being and most important the conducive atmosphere he must create. He is destroying the conducive atmosphere and that is what is very much important to I, I would say, I I would wish say you to had the back, media. I it's wish you had back to your claims. Media. I wish you had back to your claims. As I've been trying to ask since the beginning of this telecast, a very serious charge has been made. As an Indian, born in India, Indian citizen, everybody deserves an Aadhaar card, which is something that was promised sure. by the government. Sure. If tomorrow my Aadhaar card is deactivated, I certainly will be raising the matter to the highest possible authorities because it's no joke. So when we're saying that thousands and lakhs of people are being targeted in a specific state and then we're charge, adding a charge that they're being uh, targeted based on their religion and caste, then that becomes an even more serious matter. I'm, you are coming here and telling me that I have seen this happen, uh, this Aadhaar card fraud happen in my own locality, but yes. you've done nothing about it, nor have you taken the matter to the courts. At least there has to be some proof. You, you see, you see. Where is the proof? When, when, when there is a localized problem, we don't know that it is, uh, it is nationwide. And if it is there at that level, at this intensity, that they are rejecting, they are uh, automatically rejecting okay. the card. This is the extremity. This is extremity. And most importantly, the okay. most important role of media for this democratic values only. And this kind of things, why they are doing? This is the I'm most important to question. They must yes, be asked. I'm, I'm trying to the understand, but I'm not getting a clear answer. Varun Singh, what is the narrative here that is now the being uh, is clear. spun? Let me, let me tell you a simple thing. The, the TMC spokesperson wanted to defame a particular company with whom the West Bengal government wants to develop a port. They have given them the tender for port over there just last year okay. and they want to defame a corporate. Fine enough. Do that. If it serves your goal, do that. But you are misleading. Is there a single FIR registered that it, so and so person's name? Has has there been an FIR? Keep us out. Have you He's not a political analyst. He's not a political analyst. He's a fake yeah, analyst. Yeah? He's a fake analyst. Oh, please. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I don't okay, Manoj Jaswal, I don't understand why, what is the need to get personal about this? He's raising no, no, a no, very... No, 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 listen, Devika, you have to make sure that things are partial and clean and clear. 
you are not running a udi scheme here you are not running another aadhar card uh, kind of a, you know channel here who are fake people this what i'm saying sorry what i'm talking about okay first i don't i, I don't want yeah. to be told what i'm running, running and what i'm not running because no, all i'm trying i've given a fair chance to every single person to present their point manav starting with you i the first question i asked you was how many people are affected and you've still not given me a clear answer we are still counting we are still counting okay there must be a ballpark figure now you have to listen to me devika if you're still counting that means the number is lakhs right Listen, listen, listen. We have gone ahead and told everyone, whoever is not getting the benefit, please come and register. Now the BJP team. And you're also telling them, office. don't go to the BJP you office because the goons will beat you up. Bijayika, you have to listen to me. People who had run, we were, we when we had a camp, when we had camp at different places, BJP people, these fake people. No TMC, TMC. Why did you give? Why did you give a port to Adani? Why did they run for like Adani? Okay, Varun, Varun, let him, let him make his point. Again, the people will come in with the right things. Simultaneously, Mr. Salvio was saying something that people from different countries are invading India. Who is responsible? I didn't say so, invading. I didn't say invading. Why is he don't sitting put in the words chair? Into my mouth. Last, last chair. I'm extremely here in my no, communication. Who is sitting in my chair? Like I said, I never said they were invading. The chronology. I said they were coming. What nonsense are you talking when about? When serious allegations have to be made, I know exactly what you're talking about. 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 I No, no, no. It, it, it sure must be when, when, when serious allegations, when serious allegations are raised. When serious allegations are raised, I want to understand what is the number. What, what, to what extent are we talking about the fraud and corruption? I have to have understand that. that. Devika, 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 we can't just tomorrow go ahead and no. make no, 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 Devika, make claims Devika, that, that we at random the chief no, minister no, comes and says that Aadhaar cards giving, have been deactivated. You, you, you landing giving sleeping remark that does not help the nation. You are talking for the nation. When we got this, we went and we started running a camp. We cannot go door to door to every individual to say, "Bhaiya, who is Aadhaar card? Is not designed." No, nobody saying that. Nobody saying that. All I'm saying is, listen, listen. Varun Singh, let, let me speak. Varun Singh, please. I do not allow any cross talk. And they have rampaged those places. Now you're talking about Varun Singh. Varun Singh has got an agenda to serve in his BJP partner. So his own logic. Manav Jaiswal, people could say that about you as well, right? That you have an agenda to run. My simple point is, why why are we making this personal? Why are we making this entire conversation so personal that this person has an agenda to run that person? People could say that about you as well, but they're not. No, We're trying to have a logical I mean, conversation about a very serious charge that has been raised by the West Bengal government, wherein the chief the minister has come and I said come that citizens of that India are being denied their citizenship in the form of an Aadhaar card. The matter may be political to the TMC and the BJP. It is not political to the people of India. Listen, listen. What is political to the people of India? The whole India knows. BJP only knows politics. They don't understand. Again, like I said, you keep saying the BJP only knows politics, and he's backed that up. Because the BJP could say the same about you. Anyway, once again, a pointless conversation coming out of West Bengal. Once again, a pointless conversation coming out of West Bengal. Because every day, you and I, viewers, you and I, the people of West Bengal are every day reduced. to simple machines that go and press a button for an election remember this no, listen, listen, if you think it. any political party cares about you watch the violence that will happen in west bengal in the days to come and the bizarre charges that come out of west bengal from both the bjp and the tmc now listen No, 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 no. Devika, you cannot just Devika, go and blah blah blah. I would like. I have completely run out of time. I would like. And like I said, here. till the it time not, we don't have clarity. It is not Mamta Banerjee. It is the no, Mr. Kishan. No, BJP and at the top Modi Sarkar. This is the Mosha gang who is organizing all this kind of conspiracy against the state where they are not ruling. This is a this is a kind of attack against the democratic values of the country. All right, all right. I want to cut off all the mics. I'm going to cut off all the mics at this point. because it was akil khan the debate the discussion is over we really tried very hard to give everybody a fair opportunity to present their point a serious matter has been raised by the west bengal government 
and we tried our level best today to hear them out to listen to both the tmc and the bjp but if nothing is now making sense then that's on them for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon